I'd like to talk about how to strike the strings according to the Phil Rice Banjo Instructor of 1858. Printouts of the music that I'm using can be found on the Banjo Clubhouse website which can be found at milfordmusic.com. That is the Banjo Clubhouse. First thing you need to do is set up your right hand to strike the strings on a fretless minstrel banjo in stroke style. So the way I set it up is I grab a remote or any similar object just as though you would just pick it up and grab it like that. Don't be tense but just pull that out and it kinda gets your hand in a good position where it's got a nice relaxed arc to it because what's gonna happen is the nail of the first finger is going to strike the string and the thumb is going to pull up on a note and that's all you need is the finger and the thumb so once your hand is positioned you want to rest that nail on the first string and put your thumb on the thumb string okay and that is a good position for the hand there's a lot of variations on that but if you get something close to that, you're doing pretty good. Now the first thing that Rice addresses is something called a strike. Now a strike is when the hand comes down and the nail strikes the first string and your hand remains down, but when it comes up, the thumb will pull on the fifth string or the thumb string. So the motion of a strike is this. And that is the basis for a lot of the early stroke material is a series of strikes. This is the musical example on page 12. You can't see my left hand but I have some very simple uh, fingerings I'm doing to make two chords as I do this series of strikes. So this is example uh, on page 12. And again. Just let gravity take the hand down and you pull it up and just stay relaxed with that. The next thing is called a strike and a half. This being a strike, a half strike, is just the hand coming down. So the rhythm and the motion of a strike and a half is this. This is a very important element of, an also, of uh, several other minstrel tunes from this time, early stroke tunes, is the uh, rhythm of the strike and a half. Uh, this is the musical example on page 13. Once again using very simple left hand fingerings which you can't see but they're, they're real easy and we'll get to that later. Once again. Then the next thing is a double strike. That of course is going to be two motions like that a strike and another strike but the finger or the thumb can possibly hit other strings these are referred to as combinations in uh, the later work of Frank Converse in his analytical banjo method which we'll deal with at another time so here is a double strike now what I did is I struck the first string and the thumb pulled up on the thumb string and I struck the first string again with the finger and then the thumb pulled up on that string so the thumb moved that gave us a double strike So, 
On the next page, we're on page 14, and we're going to look at uh, Juba. And this is a very simple short song from the early stroke period that uses a series of double strikes and a strike and a half in there. I'll just play the song very slowly at first. It's broken up into three lines of four measures each. I will play the first line twice and then stop, and then do the second line, and then the third line. This book breaks all these parts down in extreme detail, so it doesn't look like a complete piece of music as you play it. You see how Juba is laid out there. And it continues on that page. So here's Juba, the first part. Juba, the second part, with a strike and a half. And once again. Now, when I'm doing my strikes or my strike and a half, I'm pulling my hand all the way down on the head. That's, uh, that's my preference. I just like gravity pulling my hand all the way down and I get a little extra rhythm when it taps there. A lot of players may not do that. You can play very cleanly. They get that sound or let it draw through. So here's Juba the third part. You can see that was a double strike. And there's the double strike. Same motion with a different chord fingering. Okay, so you put the whole song together. Here's the whole song slow. song up a little bit. Sounds like this. So some very simple motions combined with uh, simple left hand fingerings create uh, interesting sounds that are uh, typical of early stroke style banjo and these are the fundamentals that apply to uh, many of the other songs that you'll see throughout the repertoire so that's part one of fingerings right hand fingerings of Phil Rice's banjo method